Hello, gorgeous. Kiki here. And I am so excited because if you're watching this video, you are likely about to start creating your skinny bitch vision board. Now, I know the term skinny bitch might be a little bit dare I say triggering for some, and I don't mean to use it in any sort of derogatory way, um, but let's be real, right? We all want to be that girl, right? With that body where we feel thin, skinny, however you want to put it, and just living our best goddamn lives. So this vision board, um, I also like to call it an action board. I'm very inspired by Dr. Tara Swart's work, who she's a neuroscientist. She wrote the book, The Source. Um, if you want a really good book recommendation, I encourage you to check out that one. And she talks about creating an action board or what most of us know as a vision board, because it really does help us to see to believe, um, because we need to see to believe. Um, and so really considering um, when you're creating this vision board, what are the kinds of foods that I'm going to eat when I am this identity as I step into this person that I'm becoming, this version of a skinny bitch, if you will. Um, what kind of what kind of meals am I going to prepare for myself, or perhaps, or perhaps you know, eat out, order out when I'm ordering at a restaurant? What are the kinds of foods that are going to be most delicious for me? And if you know me and my work, I'm not about dogmatic food rules. Um, I'm more so about really connecting with hunger and taste in order to drop those last 5, 10, 15, or however many pounds that you're possibly looking to shed. Um, but that's a video for another time. I really just want you to tap into how does she eat? Um, and I have a Pinterest board specific for this very purpose, lots of my favorite recipes and food that I was really felt inspired by and um, feel really activated by recipes that you can definitely go on and actually make. Um, there's, a ver there's an area in the vision board for lifestyle. And with this, I mean, like, how does your skinny bitch self live her best life, right? Like for me, it's, oh, she's going for walks in nature. Um, she's maybe instead of going on a date with a friend that's just like, oh, let's go out to eat, where it's more like, oh, let's drive out to the boonies and go for a hike together. Um, it's going for really gorgeous yoga classes in stunning studios, doing group fitness. Um, it's, you know, prepping vegetables and, and fruits on a Sunday morning while listening to Etta James. And, you know, it's waking up and going in front of your window so you can at least get some sun if it's cold outside, but you still want to get that morning, those morning rays and maybe meditating or, you know, listening to some soothing music and perhaps gratitude journaling. So I have a Pinterest board that kind of helps to emit that imagery that you can uh, pull from. And then style. I think for a lot of us, a factor in wanting to have a certain bodily form and aesthetic is that so we can wear all of the clothes that we want to wear in a way that we feel just so gorgeous. And so for me, it's, you know, oh, the, the strappy, you know, skinny straps, spaghetti strap shirts, the backless dresses, those silky dresses that really are not necessarily flattering. But when you have that skinny bitch bod, you can literally rock anything. Um, so some of my fave fashion inspiration is in, um, in the style board on Pinterest. And then you'll notice that there's a section for dreams in your skinny bitch vision board. And I don't have a Pinterest board for this because this is super unique to you, right? So for mine, in, in my example, 
uh, my current dream, um, which is it's all happening I'm in the process of manifesting um, is moving to Athens, Greece. I've been a digital nomad for a few years now. And so my next kind of big vision is living in this gorgeous bougie apartment in Athens. I'm thinking like three or four bedroom, definitely two bathroom, definitely a super cute like patio veranda situation. Um, so that's um, one of the pictures there. Um, I think of myself as being incredibly wealthy. And I considered putting a picture of just like a bank statement with a lot of money on there, but that's not activating for me. I want money for things, right? Or for experiences or, you know, think behind your why versus just like, oh, I want a lot of money. Yeah, but there's a reason why, right? And so for me, um, I really prioritize wellness and self-care. And so to me, when I think of being wealthy, it means being able to pay someone every morning to come give me cosmetic acupuncture or a massage or go to a, you know, infrared sauna or have an infrared sauna in my house, right? Um, so that's sort of the picture there. Um, really uh, consider what it is for you that is, wow, like that would be a dream life. Um, my last picture in there is uh, sort of a model in, in a photography shoot. Um, modeling, taking pictures, photography, um, arty stuff like that has always been so soul nourishing for me. And so to consider that my life's work is also really going to include a big element of that feels incredibly dreamy for me. So um, really think about what is your dreamy skinny bitch self doing and how is she showing up and dream big, especially in that um, section of the vision board. I hope that you enjoy this process, play some music, light some candles, spritz some whatever, um, and enjoy it. It's a treat. It's a treat for yourself. And I'm so happy that you're taking the time to do it. Have fun with it. And if you are interested in learning more about me and the work that I do with women and helping them become their best version of themselves, uh, including losing excess weight, because it is totally okay to want to change your physical form. Yes, we need to have self-respect and self-love, but but I also see wanting to change your body for the better as a form of self-respect and self-love. So if you want to learn more about my process and my method of how I help clients get there, feel free to message me on Instagram, on TikTok, send me an email. My email is kiki at mebykiki.com. And I am sending you all so much love.